Hello, today I'm going to show you how to bring back the Spotify appears on section, which you may have recently noticed that it has been removed. Uh, I personally have used this section on Spotify to find a lot of music, and I don't think it's fair to the artists that it has been removed. I'm sure they're going to bring it back because I know a lot of people aren't happy about this. But uh, I'm going to show you how to do that quick and easy on the Spotify desktop app right now. For example, uh, if we go to this artist here, you notice usually there's the albums followed by singles and EPs followed by the appears on section down here. So for this artist, for example, we can only see two singles and EPs here, no albums and nothing on appears on. So what I want you to do is first things first, uninstall Spotify. So I'll just close this here. Quickly uninstall that. And gone. And there's a link in the description where you can find this version installer. It's two versions before they removed the appears on section. So there's nothing wrong with using an older version. It still has all the music. Everything else is pretty much the same. So yeah, you can find that link in the description to install that. I'll log in here quick. And I'll show you really quickly that we'll go to the same artist here. And now you'll notice uh, there's the singles and EP section here, but also the appears on, which has a great deal of work for this artist specifically compared to just these two. So that's how you bring back your appears on section. But the thing is, uh, you may notice a little blue dot up here, meaning that Spotify has an update. And once you close it, it's going to update automatically and restart. So what I'm going to do is post another link in the description that has worked for me on preventing Spotify from auto-updating. And then this video combined with that one, you should be good to go indefinitely. Now, I know this is only for the desktop app right now, but if you comment below that you would like one for maybe the iOS version, uh, if we get enough people interested, I can see if I can figure out one to bring it back on that version as well. So just let me know and happy music hunting.